Welcome to TSS Associates Troubleshooting Guide for the Bosch Inverter Heat Pumps. Today, we'll show you how to calculate subcooling on an IDS system. Let's get started. Our first step is to put the system into cooling mode. Note, the unit has to be calling for cooling for a minimum of 8 minutes to go into the force mode. Then we need to initiate the force mode by pressing the force button at the top of our board. It will be labeled force. Then you will see a sideways T appear in the LED display. The next step is to make sure the unit has been running in cooling mode for a minimum of 10 minutes when it is in the force mode. Now observe the temperature of the liquid line at the outlet of the liquid line service valve. This can be done by a digital strap on thermometer. If you are using the 2.0 series, you will be able to view the liquid line temperature from the check mode by scrolling to number 7 in the check menu. Next, you will want to scroll to number 10 in the check menu. You will now be viewing your liquid line pressure. From here, you could use a pressure temperature chart to make your calculation based on your high side pressure. For example, if your high side pressure was at 252 PSI, that would be a saturated temperature of 84 degrees and your actual liquid line temperature was 78 degrees, you would have a subcooling of 6 degrees. Note, if you had your high side gauge hooked up to the unit, you can use your gauge as a PT chart. Now that we have established our saturation temperature and our true liquid line temperature, the difference of these two will be considered our subcooling calculation. Based on this calculation, we now are looking for 6 to 10 degrees difference of subcool. Please reference the chart based on the size of the unit we are working on. If you find your temperature is greater than 10 degrees, you need to remove refrigerant to be in the range. If your subcooling is less than 6 degrees, you would need to add refrigerant to get in the correct range of subcooling. This is the process of verifying the correct charge using the Bosch inverter series. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this training video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Have a great day.